Hey everybody, happy Monday. As always, I gotta put my beer down. So today's video, and actually this is a good, okay birds, this is a great Monday guys. <clears throat> so had a decent day at work, sun's out, uh, nine degrees Celsius outside, not too bad for uh, middle of March. So this is uh, another coconut video. I guess you could call this part three. So we had talked about, uh, well in Jamaica, I showed you guys some coconuts. Uh, that were in uh, cultivation at a resort and something about their conditions, their habitat and what they like and everything. And then the second video, I talked about coconuts here at home, store-bought, uh, germinated, and I showed you guys what I do and what to look for at a grocery store when you want to germinate a store-bought dehust coconut, like these two guys, like this one here and that one there, which are doing excellent, by the way, doing just fine. So... I told you guys that you look for one with a bulge on one of the three eyes, and that's a good indication that either A, it's germinating or wants to germinate, <clears throat> or B, it has and it's dead and it didn't make it. So, to the coconut germination station. Exactly around one week ago, uh, actually, yeah, a week ago last Sunday, so it's a weekend day anyway, I had bought a coconut. And out of 10 in the store, I picked one. And I told you guys that I picked it because it had a bulge in one of the eyes. So I soaked it. I have my bucket that's got uh, just regular water in it. I have an aquarium heater. Oh, excuse me, that beer is delicious. And the aquarium heater is set around 92 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? The coconut has been in there for a week. So the one thing I did do was... Um, I did de-lid the top of the bulge. What happens is that part kind of dries out and you can just pop it off and it exposes another like lid to the em uh, embryo below. So anyway, coconut video number three. Here you go. Are you ready guys? So this has been a week and I just checked it today. I haven't checked it in a couple days and there you go. So as you can see from this angle, see the lid sticking up? Watch this. See the lid? Right there, it's popped the lid open, and we have another baby germinated store-bought coconut. So, awesome, right? So, that's not the end of it. What you gotta do now, because you don't wanna get the water to rot out the embryo, take a Ziploc baggie like this, and put this down for one second, if you can hear me. And what I'm gonna do now, is, I'll show you, thanks for your patience. I just put the coconut in a Ziploc bag, no water in it. The coconut is totally soaked with water. All the husk is very wet. So there's lots of moisture and humidity in the bag. Now I will let the coconut float in this water. And why do I recommend that? Well, this room is 82 degrees, as you can see there. So the room is warm. It's pretty warm to keep it going. My germination station over here is 95 degrees. Why am I leaving it in the bucket of water? Well, two reasons. A, this, this uh, heat mat can get quite hot on the very bottom of the element. And some of the seeds, sometimes the closest to it can actually cook a little bit. So I have a sensor in there, but sometimes if the sensor moves or doesn't read correctly, it can get pretty hot. So what I found is, if the bottom of the, obviously only the bottom of the coconut would touch the heat mat. So you have a hot spot. And I found that that hot spot sometimes kind of overheats the bottom of the coconut. And it actually creates pressure inside with the water. And like I told you guys before, I've seen the embryo, the baby coconut, shoot out of the coconut. Like just pops out and all the water sprays out. So what I want with these guys when they're germinated is for it to be gentle. So this guy is sitting in a nice bucket of, of warm water. And obviously the embryo has got to be turned because it's facing down. I want it to stand up. Otherwise the coconut will grow out this way and then up and uh, make a weird angle. You want it to be nice and straight. But anyway, I'll fix that later. So it stays in there and that helps it to uh, uh, keep growing nice and gentle. The air inside will be nice and humid because the coconut is past halfway it's actually dipped in the water quite a bit so it has a nice gentle 93 degree 92 degree heat that helps it to keep growing and mimic its uh conditions uh in the wild so not as hot as the germination station 
but better than just being in the room uh, because the room is warm, but not, not hot. So it's right in between. It works great. So that is the part three vlog. We talked about the coconuts, the 50 foot coconuts in Jamaica. We talked about this one foot coconut here. These ones I germinated myself, same, same exact process. Um, and like I said, guys, if you do it well and you know what you're doing, this coconut popped and germinated for me, popped its lid in one week and one day. That's one of my records. I think my best record is about four or five days. But like I said, go to the grocery store, go through all the coconuts, look for the bulge in one of the three eyes. If all three eyes are flat or indented or, you know, like concave, they're not worth your time. Sometimes those things can take months to grow if they are viable. So I just look for the diamond in the rough, the one that wants to live, the one that started to grow on its own before it got husked. And that's the ones that I pick. <clears throat> you know what? I don't want to wait three months. I just want this guy to get growing and I want to give him to friends and keep him for myself. So anyway, guys, we're at six minutes. This video's gone on long enough. I got a beer here that's thirsty and Callie wants to do some more screaming. So hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the update, and uh, we will do an update later on on uh, store-bought germinated coconut. Okay, guys, uh, take care. See you, bye.